how to use vector masks, in particular with feathering in Photoshop. I'm using CC220, but it's same for 2019, etc. Key panels are Pass, Layers and Properties, and you can find them via the Window menu. So you can see Layers, Pass and Properties. So once you've done that, what you need to do is create a mask, a vector mask. Now you can use various tools for that, custom shapes, pen tool, curvature pen tool, as well as rectangles, circles, etc. The key thing is go to the layer menu and vector mask and reveal all. That creates a lovely sharp mask using a path. You can see in the past panel, a path has appeared. So I'm going to use the curvature pen tool. And you can find many tutorials on the Graphic Extras channel for that. So quickly create a vector mask. Now this is a part three tutorial. There's a part two and a part one showing other aspects of the vector mask. So I'm just going to show you the feathering feature. So you've got your vector mask. What you need to do is go down to properties and then there's a second entry there. That's it. Just click that, that one that's got that little hollow in. And what you'll see in the masks, you've got density, so you can actually see more of the background. So you can just keep doing that. You can put it all the way and it's basically the same as if there wasn't a mask there at all. Or you push the density all the way up to 100%. You can also use the feather command. Slider. So set the feather and that just creates a nice blurring around the edges. Now you can push it too far and you end up virtually with nothing. So there's a nice sort of medium to use there. So just set it just there, maybe not that far, just a bit less. And you've got a nice feather in there. And you can do that with any vector mask. So if you create more than, so I've obviously just got one and of course, it's still editable as well. But you can also add to that pass as well. So you can add additional pass or points. And again, you can see the feathering just changes. It takes a few seconds just to change, but it, it does change. What you can also do, you can go to Layer Menu and Rasterize and Rasterize Vector Mask. So you can just turn it into a standard, standard layer now. So you've got your design there. What you can do then is you can duplicate it. Hold down the Alter Option key and just duplicate it. So just drag it around. So you can create some very abstract designs just by using the vector mask and feathering and then duplicating it. So it's a very quick and easy way of creating some really nice abstract backgrounds there. What you can also do, you can also use that as a define pattern. Now you can create multiple layers. Right, so I've got one layer now. What you can also do is go to Edit Menu and Define Pattern. Give it a name, click OK. Now that's been defined, it's been added to the Patterns palette panel. So you can do edit and fill and go with pattern. Set the custom pattern to the pattern you've just defined. It's just right down the bottom. Select that and set the script on. And go with like symmetry fill, random fill. I'm going to go with symmetry fill. Now what will happen, the end result will not be exactly as in the image there, in the preview. You've got various things, you've got various options, seven, eight, nine, they're really useful. Some of the other early ones are not so great. You can also change the width, the height, as well as color randomness. I've got color randomness set on there. But just by changing the width, you can create all kinds of different symmetry patterns. Symmetry fills. There, unfortunately, like I say, it just applies it to that very narrow design there on the layer. 
which is not ideal. So I'm just going to quickly flatten the image. So layer menu and flatten image. Now I can just go for fill and again apply it again. Click OK. And now you can see it fill. Obviously, there's still the background design that it's not covered. But I wanted to show you, you can fill the entire screen with that lovely feathered design. And you can apply it multiple times so you can fill the whole design to create some very unique designs. Now I'm just going to put it back to start point. Again, you can see there's no path now, no vector mask. So again, to bring that back, go to layer menu. But you can also use other layers. You could duplicate the current layer. You can also use solid colors using the new fill layer, but you can also use a gradient. So you just create a gradient. Now, so now you've got two layers and you can change obviously the gradient. I'm not going to go with that one. I'm going to select another gradient. But you can add a vector mask to that as well via the layer menu and vector mask. So you can see that layer and that layer. You've got the background layer. Again, layer, layer menu and vector mask, not layer mask. Make certain the layer is selected. Now, sometimes I go to layer mask and I think that's strange. No, it's vector mask. Always remember it's not layer mask, it's vector mask. Reveal all. In many ways, I wish I'd put them slightly separate or maybe in a different way because it's sometimes you just select the wrong one. But I do anyway. So now I've got my vector mask and pass there. And again, what you do, you go to the curvature tool and make certain in the top left, it's set to pass. That's the key thing. And also I'm in the middle, it's set to a combine option. So now what you can see is you've got that gradient. Just that's all you've got because you've created your mask. You can now see the background layer. And you can continue to modify the mask as well using the curvature pen tool. But then you can also change the density. So you can just set that down again and then you can see more of the gradient or less of the gradient. You can put it back to 100% and just see only the background. And also you can feather that gradient. So you can create a nice feather design there. How about there? And again, still editable, so you can still manipulate the... And also you can add additional points to it as well. So layer menu. And you can duplicate the layer. Now you've still got the same vector mask, obviously it's duplicated the vector mask as well. So you can go make certain you're selecting that layer or the other layer, and you can change the vector mask for that. There's that layer there, that pass. You can just move the points. So now you can see both of the vector masks. So you've got the one that's just above and the one that's just below now. And you can manipulate that in many different ways. And of course, you can still add additional points. So you can create some very abstract designs by using this approach. And of course, you can still go to the Layers menu and duplicate it and create more and more copies. You can also go to Layer menu and Layer Content options and change the gradient. So if you don't want that for the second one, you can go and change it to another gradient, maybe change it to radial, etc. And again, you can still continue to manipulate. And you can change the feather as well, as well as the density for that layer. You can also go to the layers panel and you can set the blending mode to light and dark and different to create all kinds of very abstract designs there. 
And again, you can still manipulate the, the points. Put it on top of the other mask or not. And you can go back to the other layer and again change the blending mode for that as well if you wish to say the difference. You go for the direct selection tool. Now there's one problem with the direct selection tool. If you do use that, what will happen is sometimes it will just select both of the masks, which is not particularly what you want, maybe. So if you don't want to have that, you can go to the layers panel and disable the layer. So you just make certain you can't see it and then you can manipulate just that mask only. So the curvature tool can manipulate the design in all kinds of ways. You can also add adjustment layers you can also rasterize it. Now, at this point, there's no option for the vector mask. So you just go to rasterize. And maybe just go for the layer option or fill content. Up to you. They're slightly different. But I'm just going to go with layer. Once you've got that, of course, what you can do, you can duplicate that design. You can then transform it. You can modify it as well. You can move it around. But of course, once you've rasterized it, that's it. The mask is gone. So you can't go back to the mask and then re-edit the design. That's how you can duplicate the design and create some very abstract designs across the entire image. All of them are feathered. And of course, you don't have to use Curve to Pen tool you could use the custom shapes tool. You could create a custom shape as a path, as a vector mask. So you could select that, the custom shape tool. And again, what you can do, you can go and create a vector mask for that. Again, layer menu, vector mask, and reveal all. But as I said, curvature tool, but also custom shape tool, circles, rectangles, and so on and so on. And again, what you can do, again, go to that second entry in the properties panel for the masks and change the density for that if you wish. Or change the feather. Also, what you can do, of course, you can always go to the layer menu and you can then add a layer style and a bevel or maybe a drop shadow with this as well. Again, you can rasterize the vector mask and you can do duplicate that design as well. Or move it around, reposition it, maybe put it into your uh, CC library and use it for future projects. Maybe apply effects to it via the filter menu. Now that layer has been selected. And again, what you can do you can always go to the edit menu and define pattern because you've got that transparency behind. It's a really quite useful for a pattern. So you've got that design, define it as a pattern. You can flatten the image. Edit menu and fill. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to set it to black or white, be reasonable. Click OK. So you've got just a fresh background. Now go to Edit Menu, Fill. Select the Pattern option. Now, going down to the bottom where you've got just created your pattern design there. There it is. Make, make certain you select and deselect the script option. Deselect that and then select again. Because sometimes what happens, Photoshop will just default to the standard fill. It won't go to the symmetry fill for some weird reason. Seems to be a glitch where it does that. 
So I always like to deselect, select, etc. And then what you can do, you can modify the width and the height again to create all kinds of different designs. Change the pattern scale, change the color randomness as well. Once you've done that, I'm using seven, click OK. And you can see your design there. So you can create some really unique designs just by using the lovely feather feature in the vector masks in Photoshop. And that's all done via the layer menu and vector mask and reveal all and the properties panel. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. Also, a like or dislike. Thank you much.